Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be coming to you with what I like to call like a stretch RGB sort of bloom transition. So let's put this to fit. It sort of looks a little like this. So you can see that we have the, the sort of the bloom into the colors. And then during that bloom, it just goes stretches and then we stretch into a new scene. So that's what we're gonna be creating today. Let's get started. This is a pretty easy effect to pull off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have our two clips inside of a sequence. So clip one, clip two right here. We're going to go over into our project manager down here in the bottom left. Go to this little leaf in the bottom right of that panel. It says new item right here. When we click on it, we're gonna go up to adjustment layer and then we're just going to click okay. This should set it to whatever the sequence settings are that you have open. Then we're gonna drag that adjustment layer on. Now, what we're gonna do is just trim this down to size a little bit on each end of the clip right here. And however long you make, this is how fast you can make the clip go. So now we have the clip right here. We're going to go into it. We're gonna to go to the very beginning here and let's see how long this goes. So right now it's going, we wanted about 15 frames from the center here. So if we go to the center point, we can hold down our shift key and then go back and it's gonna go five, 10, 15. Cut it right there. Go back to our center point, right where it cuts there. We're gonna go five, 10, 15, cut it down. And then now what we have is we have an equal amount of frames on the left and the right here. So one, two, three gets us there. Oh, need a little more cut on that end. Yeah, that's starting to look, that looks good right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the very beginning of this adjustment layer. We're gonna go into our effects. We're going to search for an effect called transform under the video effects transform or distort and then transform. Drag that onto our adjustment layer. We're gonna go up to our effect controls, down into the transform, and then we're looking for scale. We wanna uncheck uniform scale, go to scale width right here, turn on the keyframe, go all the way to the very end, and then go ahead and set another keyframe right there. And then now we're just gonna to go to the middle and we're actually gonna create the stretch. So when we create this stretch, we're gonna stretch it out maybe, maybe about to double. Uh, so about 200% here. And now you'll see what it does is it actually applies the stretch from bottom or from first clip to second clip. Now let's go ahead and create that RGB sort of uh, bloom effect that we had. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Lumetri Color. So we can either go to the color panel up here and just make an adjustment. So we make a tiny adjustment, it drags the entire Lumetri Color over here. Or we can actually just search down here, Lumetri Color, find it under color correction and then drag it on like so. Either way, we need the Lumetri Color over here in our effect controls. I'm then going to go down into the color wheels and match. And you'll see that we actually have a toggle animation button here. And that's why we wanna use it over here instead of over here on the right is because we actually want to animate this over time. So we're gonna go hit that toggle animation, do the exact same thing, move to the end of the clip, click on it and go ahead and drop a keyframe right there. So we have a beginning and an end that are exactly the same. Then we go into the middle and now we're going to just create that bloom effect. So what I do is since this is RGB, whenever I grab these, I just wanna grab an R, a G and a B, a red, a green and a blue in any combination. So maybe this time I want the, the midtones to be blue or this time I want the shadows to be blue. This situation, I'm gonna make the midtones all the way up to red. I'm gonna make the highlights down to blue and I'm gonna make the shadows over on the G. And now you'll see we get this really sort of vintage look cause we're kind of really stretching the colors out. And then now I'm going to go ahead and bring these up a, a touch as well. And this is gonna get that bloom effect going cause it's gonna really bring up the exposure of the entire clip. So now we're almost like separating the colors a little bit and also at the same time smashing them together. It creates this sort of neat effect where we get this one tone uh, look here and then we bloom it out as well. And what's neat is because of this, this is why this works as a transition, is it actually makes all of the colors the same in both of the clips. So even if they're not sharing any colors, they look like they're at the exact same place because it makes all of the colors the same here. And so this is the final effect that we get right here from all of that. And like I said, it's, it's a neat little effect and it's sort of a very artsy effect that you can throw in to sort of give a little bit of life to your animation. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and dump them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.